Shalom everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. God bless you so much, family. If today is your first time watching me, I greet you and I kindly ask you to subscribe to Shalom Studies. Subscribe to Shalom Studies. Go and click, leave a message, leave a comment if you have been blessed by the teachings. Go through the, the, the teachings, listen to them, and I believe one or two or all of them will be a blessing to you. I always say that God has created everything for our benefit. Whatever you see on earth, God said we should have dominion. What we lack is knowledge on how to use it. Not everything. I always tell people, Satan has never created anything and he can never create anything. He cannot, he cannot create anything. Whatever Satan gives you is just duplicates. In due time, he will come back and collect whatever he has given to you. But the Bible said the blessings of God, he had no sorrow. Whenever God bless you, whenever God heal you, whenever God is protecting you, he will not put fear, he will not put condition on it. He will just bless you provided you are walking in the right path with him. So today I want to share something brief but important and powerful with you. If you can get that particular thing, I can tell you, I can assure you, you will see the power in it. Now, one thing you have to know is we are surrounded by evil spirits wherever we go, whatever we do. You don't know the person you, you may be hugging. You, you don't know the person you may be shaking hand with. You don't know the person you may be eating with. You don't know where the person has gone before coming to your home. You don't know what the person has done. And if you are that person where you get attacks, people come to you. And let me tell you, if you always dream that your spirit has been sermoned somewhere, you are in a meeting, you have been sermoned in a witchcraft coven, in a witchcraft altar. Now, the number one sign, when you wake up, you will feel tired. Anytime you wake up, and you are not on medication, you are not sick, you are very healthy, but you wake up very tired, you wake up very confused, your heart is panting, you are just tired as if in a dream you were carrying concrete, you were carrying cement, you were carrying a whole house on your head. It's a sign that your spirit has been called forth, your spirit has been enchanted, there's enchantment going on, they are calling forth your spirit. Now, you may say, ah, but I can pray, I can fight. It's okay, I believe in prayer, I'm a prayer person. Prayer is very good, prayer is important, I encourage you to pray. But God, I always tell people, it's not everything that you have to pray. It's not everything. There are certain things Jesus Christ didn't pray. Like when he went to the temple and he saw people selling things in the temple, he didn't say, God, I pray that you chase away these people abusing the temple. He just acted there are some things you have to act it's not everything you have to pray so today i'm going to share with you this particular seed in my hand you can look at it carefully it's called alligator pepper or alligator pepper seed now but before i talk about it let's read something in the bible in ezekiel 47 verse 12 Ezekiel 47 verse 12, he said, The fruit of the tree, the fruit, he said, fruit trees of all kinds will grow on both the banks of the river. Their leaves will not wither, nor will their fruit fall. Every month they will bear fruit, because the water from the sanctuaries or the sanctuary flows to both to, to them. Their fruit will serve for food and their leaves for healing. This is not a satanic book. I want you to read it yourself. Take your Bible, if it's on your phone, if you have the Bible, the Prince Bible, take it, Ezekiel 47, verse 12. Read it for yourself. Whether I'm lying or I'm reading from a different book, this is the Word of God. And if you believe the Word of God, then you have to believe every letter the word of God brings out. So now, this alligator pepper is God who created it. It's very powerful. It's very dynamic. It's very dangerous. If you know how to use it carefully, you will see results. So what I'm, what I'm giving you, I'm giving you a key 
so that your spirit will be stopped by those evil human agents, evil agents who has been calling for your spirit. You will wake up, you will dream when you are dining with people you don't know them. You will dream when you are walking with people you don't know. Your spirit has been called forth. They have commanded your spirit and they are using it. That's why you wake up when you are tired, you are sweating as if you have been running, running from here to, to any, any unknown destination. You are running without getting tired, without getting to your destination. So, this alligator pepper, get one like this, one bulb like this. What you need to do, put it, bury it for 21 days. I'm taking my time slowly for you to understand. Get one alligator pepper like this, bury it for 21 days. When you bury it, demarcate the place so that when it's 21 days, you will not forget where you buried it from. So how do you demarcate it? Bury it and put a stone on it. If you have children and you know they play football around, just warn them not to remove the stone. If it's a convenient place and you know no one can go there, then you are safe. You bury it, put a stone. Now, when you bury it, make sure if you're a woman and you are burying it, you are not menstruating. And if you are menstruating, don't hold the alligator pepper if you are going to use it for spiritual purpose. If you are just going to chew it normally, whether you are menstruating or not, you can still touch it. But if you are going to use it for a spiritual purpose, please and please, when you are menstruating, don't touch it. Leave it when you finish. And let me advise our women, when you finish your menstruation, get sea salt. The day you finish, the day you finish your menstruation, get sea salt, get some good amount of sea salt, put it in a warm water, pray over it. Ask God to cleanse you through this salt when you are finished. Because the moment you finish, you are going back to your normal life. You are going back to be with your husband. If you are married, you are going back to be with your husband. So purify yourself. So put the sea salt in the, in the, in the, in the warm water. Pure, uh, pray over it. Use your hand like this. Pick the water and throw it on your body. And he said, I purify myself by the spoken word of the Lord in the salt. Lord, let me go back to my normal life. As I have come out from this period of womb cleansing, womb purification. You see, whatever comes out of your life, the blood that comes out of your life, you are just, it's a process of cleaning. You are cleaning. That is why it's important when you're in your period, you don't need to have sex. You don't need to have sex. You can injure yourself or you can destroy things. And it's not hygienic. Now, let me come back to this thing. Now, when you finish, as I said, when you are menstruating, don't touch it. Just leave it. When you finish, go and bury it on the ground for 21 days. Write the date you, you, you put it in the soil. Now, when it is 21 days and you are going to uproot it, remove it on the day you were born. If you don't know the day you were born, it's very simple. If you have calendar on your phone, Go to the phone calendar, get the day, the month, and the year, and you will see the day you were born. Either Monday or Tuesday, you will get it. Very simple. It's very, very simple. Get the day. If it is Monday and the 21 days falls on Saturday, wait till Monday. You have finished the 21 days, but the rest of the two days you will add, or a day you will add, has no effect against it. It's okay. The most important thing is to finish the 21 days. So if you are born on Friday and the thing, the 21 days fell on Monday, just leave it there. Wait until Friday. So Thursday midnight into Friday morning, you can go and approach it, remove it. Now, when you are going to remove it, what you need to do, go with sea salt. Sprinkle it on top of where you planted it as you pray. Lord, I charge this alligator pepper as I remove it. Let the spoken word of the Lord in it for healing, for protection, for deliverance. That you have spoken it. Lord, let it manifest. Now, when you remove it, you can stand anywhere. Just open it. Put it at your back like this. 
put it at your back and remove it and open it. Now, when you open it, then you can bring it in front. The most important, you have to open it from the back because it's for spiritual purpose. Now, when you open it, remove seven seeds of the alligator pepper. Seven seeds of the alligator pepper. Then you put it in your palm. Put it in your palm. Then you go to Psalm 35. Go to Psalm 35, verse 1. Psalm 35, verse 1, read up to 28. The last end is 28. Now, if you cannot, if you can recite all of it off head, you are great to go. But if you cannot, read up to where you think you are contented with. So in some, when you remove it, put it in your palm like this, seven. Seven. And what you are going to do, you, you keep the rest. You do it four days of your birth. So if you are born on Monday, you will get four Mondays in a month. So every Monday, remember also the day, the time you, you did the first one should be the same time. So if you did it at 1 a.m., Make sure you do the next one, 1 a.m., the third one, 1 a.m., and the last one, 1 a.m. So the time you remove the alligator pepper from the ground and you, 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 you pray over it should be the same time. So you, you, you go to Psalm 35. He said, contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Whilst this thing, the alligator pepper is in your palm. Contend with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up the shield and armor. Rise up and come to my aid. Banish spear and javelin against those who pursues, who pursues me. Say to me, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin tend to be turned back in dismay. May, may they be like chaff before the wind with the angel of the Lord driving them away. So you recite. Me, I have, I have read up to verse 5. Then when you finish, you, you, you speak on it based on the word of the Lord. Lord, contend with those who are content with me. Fight those who are fighting me. Let my enemy turn their back. Whenever they are calling forth my spirit, they are calling forth my image. Wherever, any witchcraft coven, any witchcraft altar, any ancestral altar, any satanic powers, any demonic powers, any marine powers, any human agent, wherever they have taken my photo, my image, my cloth, my, anything that belongs to me, that they will plant sickness in me whilst I'm sleeping. Lord, as I swallow this seed, let the alligator pepper, the spoken word of the Lord, turn into fire. When they call forth my name, let my image turn into fire. Let anything that they, they have against me turn into fire. When you do that, after you have prayed, then you swallow it. Don't chew it. Don't drink water. Just swallow it. Put it in your mouth and swallow it. Finish. You do that for the day you were born four times in a month. Just keep the rest safely and you will see the magnificence, the power behind the things God has given to us. Shalom and God bless you so much. If you have any question, get contact me on WhatsApp and I'll be willing to give you the answers you want. God bless you.